hello guys welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video we are going to look at how to install how to install windows 11 on unsupported hardware so as you can see i'm checking with the pc health check and you can see tmp 2.0 i don't have that and my processor is also not supported as you can see there i have an intel i5 4574 generation pc so we go to this website which i'll link in the description we go we scroll down and download windows create windows 11 installation media and download windows 11 dix so we will, we will download the iso file the dix image iso file and it is for only 64-bit devices only so what we'll do is we click on download we select windows 11 multi-edition iso click on download and then you choose the language so the language you want it to be in so you choose english united states or whichever language your pc is in already then you click on download so they give you a download link click on download so as you can see the download file is 5.17 gigabytes and now our file is downloading and you know it's unsupported hardware so it won't come now it is done downloading let's try and set it up and see if it will work pretty sure it's not work but just for the sake of the video let me try and set it up install windows 11 click on next now as you can see it says this pc does not currently meet windows 11 system requirements so i'm going to show you a quick bypass i'll give a link to this windows 11 bypass winrar file which will be in the description so you go to you click on the link and you download this bypass file you extract it it's, it's already a cmd file all you do is right click on it and run as administrator take about six seconds and it's done totally done all you have to do now is run the windows again so yeah running windows preparing as you can see now you see that it has changed to windows installation server or installing windows server now you don't need to be bothered about that because as you will see in the video it will work it's just a bypass so it is going to work perfectly fine now you can see that we've bypassed the error this time around there's no error showing that we can't install here you choose what to keep you can choose keep personal files only keep everything or keep nothing at all so it is installing as you can see when it is installing the pc will go off your pc will restart several times this might take a while so you just have to give it time and allow it to install so once you can see we are in windows 11 on the same pc and you can see we have updates so thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe to the channel it really helps me out thank you very much